Welcome back beautiful people. We're going to be using Chiyu today, something you haven't seen in quite some time, something you need to see sometime soon. Let's get it popping. Shout out to Edgar for this squad. Heavy duty boots, huh? So where's that? A D claw? No uh, scale shot? Well, I guess if you're heavy duty boots, it makes sense. Okay. This boy fast as hell, so I'll see you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still getting over that dry cough. Yo, Kyogre is looking manly. He has a Deoxys, which means Hatterene would be a concern. You need to deal with my Hatterene some way. And to deal with my Hatterene some way would... I mean, you have, like, your Mono Fleet to Fairy. So I'm expecting Deoxys. The reason, the beauty of this is that it lures in the... Uh, the Landers lures the Deoxys to... Uh, Go for the hazard immediately. Oh, they run knockoff. Didn't know that. Okay, sir. Fair enough. <clears throat> it's allowed. Okay. I guess he thought he was the one. I thought he. I think he thought he was chosen. He wasn't. Y you weren't chosen. You weren't chosen, bro. You're not that guy, bro. You're not that. Guy. But he's he's very weak to fair. He's very weak to cheat. Look at this team. The fire resist is a motherfucking Rayquaza. The fairy resisted Lugia, which allows me to nuzzle up. Nuzzle up, nuzzle, 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 nuzzle up. <clears throat> now, to be fair, this Lugia is somewhat turning. I don't have uh, the greatest solutions to this beast. So let's let Chiyu drop the beads. Oh, yeah. Voice choice specs and you're paralyzed. Yeah, you're getting to it, KO'd, buddy. I'm choice specs. Yeah, yeah, you're flinching. Oh, he actually broke through. That's, that's crazy. How does he break through paralysis and flinch? It must be like a 1%. Nah. <clears throat> but, um, <clears throat> excuse me. A relatively straightforward style of battle. Uh, in terms of, you know, bro doesn't really have much going for him as far as team. Team's not the greatest. <clears throat> and this allows for me to rock skin, even if he has Ice Spinner. Uh, because this is max defense damn near uh, The helmet of the rocky uh, This allows for me to use I don't have any ghost types So <clears throat> he's spitting every time Which I'll allow I'll allow it uh, It seems to be knockoff spin Probably B BU Boko PC Yeah okay So he's gone then so He's willing to commit He's like okay I'm gonna get rid of rocks And take 70 um, 60, 68% off Lando I think Lando's beyond the intimidate is unnecessary, not from a health standpoint. Annihilate gets annihilated by Chiyu and Kyogre's raw power. Uh, Zamazenta, actually that might be the one with... I forgot the name factor and that is the steel one. So here comes Annihilate doing Annihilate things. You guys remember what Annihilate did. So we're gonna rock... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Blow this thing away. Unless he's choice card. Are you serious? That was that was diabolical right there. I could just ice beam, but water spot to the KOs, right? Um Ice Beam won't KO Deoxys. And so if he goes to Deoxys, I guess what the hell is Deoxys gonna do to Hatterene, but <clears throat> Water Spot is a far better position considering. The Rayquaza is a non-factor with the Hatterene around. Actually, maybe that's not true. Maybe it's actually better to, to have. So what I'll do first turn. Oh, he actually, oh, sorry, I'm glad because now I just get to Ice Beam Spam. I don't know why he just, he's probably Spexed. I mean, he's probably thinks I'm Spexed. Uh, yeah, he didn't need to forfeit there. The Ray could have been a little annoying. But it only is annoying if it gets to Sword Dance. I mean Dragon Dance, and if it's Dragon Dance, it doesn't have the power. Choice Scarf, Ice Punch, and then, like, that's crazy. This is not going to be an ultra long live, but... Yeah, so what are what are the lessons of the week that I'm going to be sharing in this month's uh, reporting? Lessons of the week. Inputs trump outputs. And positions. Uh, position, I mean trajectory or direction trumps position. <clears throat> so the first one input beats outputs as a reminder of um, You know at times I got lost in valuing the, the points over the the progress right? And so a lot of times we're evaluating well my points are right here 
and my points haven't changed right and that points every game has points so that may look like the score of whatever game that may look like the, the amount of muscle or weight you've lost that may look like the amount of money you're gaining or losing it's like my points haven't changed uh but the player progressed and so player progressing is what causes the points to change sometimes we forget that there's cause and effect and um you know you get caught up in like man i want the result right now and so all the emphasis is placed on um actually didn't even evaluate the team period this is a, a perfect play though because um with the intimidate it covers willow is but if the earthquake it just it was just amazing it's just an amazing decision but um the only thing is to guard against dark is Dacian. and this is wrong but uh he is so busted ridiculous but uh yeah so it's like you ele you elevate the points which is just the status you gain right the external status that i gained from hey you guys i'm the man don't forget it this is actually very dangerous very dangerous one here just realize my Raiden doesn't have a fighting move I'm gonna do the damage on this. He actually e speeded it, surprised me. He's gonna take like a. That did nothing. <clears throat> and he's life for perfect, which means they might not have recover. Awesome. Little taunt here. In case he has recover, okay. Take that. Actually, that worked out. From a risk versus reward standpoint, if he did attack into my Chi into Earthquake, which is the only way he'd knock me out, the him not SDing is a worse fate. Him as Ding is a worse fate. But so even if I were to lose Chiyu, when you you know evaluate this team, Chiyu's only beating the Necrozma. It's a little annoying versus the Eternatus, and it's very difficult to switch into. But uh, the risk of the Arceus Swords dancing while taking no damage is far more dangerous. Um, and so surprised he goes Mariden because you gotta go for a Dragon up here. Um, I'm willing to have her in. Uh, it's decently risky but had a range not you know ultra high value not an ultra net worth uh pokemon so uh ultra high net worth pokemon you know what i'm gonna start saying that you know the net the net worth on this is low is that a thing let me know if that's a thing bros is, is that the wave you're all feeling that does that make sense that's crazy i was gonna go to you uh, and that in terms of like the hard she play was probably the way it's left of it's probably uh what's that move called um, not here is best trick room right i mean not what's it called what's that move called um the item called weakness policy there we go i actually shouldn't have even returned here to this earthquake um lander's is decent though the Maradon seems to be choice. Um, Chiyu coming in on this means death. Uh, Kyogre is decent. Um, Chiyu is really, I shouldn't have U-turned you. I should have EQ'd after that. Uh, I have a, a million ways to win this, so it doesn't really matter. I probably shouldn't have even, um, Kyogre is probably the weakest thing though. Uh, though, you know, it was useful for the Zacian, so Terrifier, he actually ate yeah, Paralysis, um, or, or Flinch was assured. It didn't change the outcome of the game, but, you know, you get the idea. And so here, um, we see Healing Wish, Losing Lando, he can't go for, he can't Electric Move Block, which is fine, I'll just Dark Pulse. Why would you electric move block if I just revealed to you that you can't beat this? That you're like a team of mono weak to ground mods. Okay. Alright, so our play here is always just the um, earthquake. Because you want him to get the rocky helmet. Oh, he actually didn't knock me out. The landers go. That's it. But yeah, points over progress. You always want to value progress over points. Because even if the game isn't working, the game is working on you. 
right? The player is always developing if he's reflecting on his replays, right? You got to reflect on your replays. Otherwise, you're just um, you're really succumbing to the two villains, the two big, you know, the two biggest villains of every competitive player is the two, E and, e and I. They always come together. Ego and ignorance, right? So ego is, I, I'm that guy. My identity is I'm that guy. I know everything there is to know about everything. There's nothing that someone can tell me that I don't already know. And there's nothing further to learn. Now, it sounds exaggerated when I put it like that, but the reason those two are paired is because ignorance, his partner in crime, is the real culprit, right? Ignorance or blind spots are the things that are keeping you from getting the results you want. The, the reality is, like when I train people, I'm not, I'm not like, oh my God, you know, ah, uh, the jam, the great one that, you know, saved these fools. Like it's not that at all, at all. What's really happening is I'm removing all the blind spots. I'm removing all the blind spots. That's actually kind of cool. I've never seen that before. But we're having a, okay, so we're sticky webbing. Oh, we're having a sticky web off, fair enough. Um, Jam is so cool and blah, 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 no, no, no. You guys already have the genius required. It's just that, mm, I mean, that's all. Terrifying, does he knock me out? Jesus, this shit is banded. Um, very well then. Oh yeah, I have every duty boots on this dragon claw, probably. Yes. If it doesn't, I could flare blitz. Mm, how do I want to win this though? Well, not how do I want to, but how will I win this? Hmm. CM Arceus Grown probably can do it. We're gonna have Arceus ground off. My Kyogre to prevail. Hmm. Rule number one, Art of War. Always holds positions that cannot be def- Oh shit. I just realized Rayquaza negates my son, so I don't have my attack boost. Hmm. Means I don't have my sun boost. Means I'm a lot weaker than I'm supposed to be. Which means I probably just gave up my karate for nothing. Hmm. Is it worth the Lando switch? So I'll end up giving up Lando and getting nothing in return. Um. If I Terra Fire. Just don't want to be Kyogre susceptible. Because then Kyogre just comes in, and if it's specs, especially it can start um, from Water Spouts family. Okay, very well. I have U turn, which is blessed. Um, so, what I'll end up doing here Well, it's, 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 uh, his defense is gonna drop again, so that's fine. And it's, it's a loss for me to declaw. It should do. Um, should one shot. Gives up his Terra, which is great. And I get to get my son up. Um, surprised by Arceus ground here. I'm not sure what this is gonna do. He probably thinks I'm Choice Scarf. Yeah. I'm not. And he's physical. But if I were to Terra Fire, does he get swept? Depends on what his Karadin is. Hmm. Or maybe I just Blitz without the Terra. I think that'll kill him. Yeah, this shit is strong as fuck, good god. Cause that's equivalent of Stab, without the Terra anyway. Because of the Sun Boost, so. The fact that dumb attack set. I mean, even if I didn't KO, I didn't need it to. Once I found out he was physical Arceus, it was almost guaranteed because then I'd just sweep him with CM, CM uh, Arceus water, well ground. 
And so now if none of his mons have the he Kyogre's first, but he I get why he wouldn't want a Kyogre. If I'm if I had a fighting move. I don't like Sword Dance U turn. I want Sword Dance. I don't like not having low kick. And I'm actually kinda E killer weak. I can see a point of ghost on this one. If I had low kick there, he'd have been cooked. But um, the the deal, the 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 stage has been set. It's okay, and I get to find out what kind of um, writing he is. But he's not choice guard, okay, which means my Kyogre is faster. Which means I just ice beam here. Um, he's probably gonna SD, yeah. But he didn't think about the fact that the Kyogre would be faster, so he didn't think about that. Because uh, the worst case scenario would be me hard switching any SDs because landers can't two shot him. So let's say he scale shot it immediately. Kyogre would still be alive and healthy. This is likely choice, even if it wasn't. Um, if it's not choice, then it's a comma variant. I have the EQ plus I have the um, the combining of my Arceus, and he has no recovery. And so I'll get probably a free turn because he used water smout, water move for a turn when I Terra. I'd get the one up on him, unless you know it wasn't choice. And then right here, that would be a situation where uh, he combined, but. Is very likely choice on a team like this, but not necessarily. You don't have to be a choice. Um, thundering Ace yeah, choice specs. Sticky Whip plus Kyogre here. Makes sense. But, um, yeah, so progress over points. The, the game works on the player. And the beauty of the ladder, and, or, or any ladder, is that uh, because the, the, the ladder doesn't care about your ego, you're either going to get your ego checked or you're gonna quit unfortunately most quit but there are the select few who go you know maybe i don't know everything there is to know and as i said you know when people come to me for training my job is to remove the blind spots my job is to uncheck unshackle the chain that's holding them down it's not i'm sure there are things i teach them but it's more teaching from a standpoint of revealing the truth so it'd be something like, you know, you've been in the gym forever and you're not able to gain a lot of muscle, right? The rules of the game are set. The rules of the game are already set. So the way the body builds muscle will never change. It is what it is. So what a personal trainer or coach does is that he reveals to you the process of building muscle and gives you the framework. And so if you go to a personal trainer, you've been working out, what he's going to do is not he can't do the muscle lifting for you. So he's not saving you or he's not doing anything like that. He's just saying, hey, these are some tools. I'm here to support you. And so you might have had a poor nutrition plan or you may have had this poor form that's been ruining your progress. And he just gives you these sub subtle supportive, well, oh, okay, whoa, my form has been bad this whole time. And then you fix your form and then your, your bench increases or your squat increases. Your points increase because your player increase. Now your player increased because you got your ego out of the way and because you removed the blind spot but the blind spot could only be re re removed by somebody who's an expert in that field and so that's all it's not even the you know these guys had to put in the work no matter what i teach them so just like that a personal trainer he has to put in the um, the, uh, the person he's training has to put in the work no matter what he says um you know so it's just very dope very cool uh very cool very dope uh that worked why not? i think when you touch these the t spikes i'm actually not sure how that interaction works does glamora's toxic debris work like a t spike or does it just sit because if it works like it, actually, it wouldn't be useful. Heal block, okay. Doesn't matter. Um, now, when my land against rocks up, this is dead. And there's nothing you can switch into. But yeah, it's like, you go for that, and you realize, oh, shoot. You know, I just need some support. 
And the beauty of support is its speed. Like that's the, the ROI of support. Because the reality is, so, is it possible for um, a player to figure out every little component on their own? Of course it is, it's possible. And uh, can be done, but uh, it might just take, you know, two years instead of the two weeks. And so a lot of guys just take the boot camp because they value their time. It's really not even like a, it's like, I'm not trying to reinvent the Rubik's cube uh, or reinvent the wheel. I'm just, just, just tell me what to do, Jam, and uh, tell me where the blind spots are so I can get on um, and start winning games. Um, but I understand the the uh, the misconceptions that can exist. I didn't even like game plan the song. I choose scarf now, so. Actually, I'm going to use it for this. Either I force a terror or I knock this out. I don't think he'll remember that he tricked my choice card. Because why would you sword dance? Yep. So it's, it's just, there's just a lot of mirroring. And what I realized, another big realization, this wasn't on the list. But I used to think the gateway to the lessons was through the science. And what that means is that um, I thought... There, there's a predictable science to improving at all things. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna, in, in the discovery of that process, Mons has taught that universal process to me. And everybody has their dedicated game. You often hear our athletes say, you know, the game taught me life, right? And what they're really saying is that there's a, a universal process to improvement that I learned because I played this game, right? water pulses insane insane and says so that there's a universal process that i learned through playing this and then what it dawned on me is that oh i used to thought i needed to take people or use lure people in with minds then teach them the process and then you're just going to apply it offline but it's actually the other way around and it's i think it's something mushimoto or something the guy that had the quote that once you know the way you see it in all things. And what dawned on what it dawned on me was like, no 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 no. The goal is not to geez, man, that killed me. Uh the goal isn't to oh well, damn, you need to uh, um, This is probably specs. There's no way that one shot my Chiyu. Chiyu has actually solid spell. The goal isn't to like go, okay, well damn, you need to take them away from Mons and like I thought Mons was like an escape and it's like, oh, it's convenient that people are using it because, you know, they can learn something from it. But then I realized, no, all games, the only way to learn the principle is to play the game. It's the game isn't in the way, it is the way. And I was like, oh, shoot, the game is the way, it's not in the way. And so even as we're describing things right now, there may be insights that come about. What? Oh, this shit was not choice card. Okay, well, I'm finished. But the game is not, um, which is crazy that he even stayed in there because I could have beat him. These weakness policy I'm cooked. I'm, I'm really not. Like, I'll win with Arceus Ground. Terra Fairy is actually great because now I get to this judgment. I'm not sure you can even to account me. Unless he's like Terra Fairy Blast or some shit like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with brother here. Brother boy, Terra Fairy. What you doing? Outrage. That almost took me out. I have to recover on the picks. Um, how would you ever go toxic? Fuck, just lost the game that way. Yeah, buddy boy didn't think this through. Yeah. So he's a newer player yeah but um and that's where we're gonna wrap it up for the live but um yeah guys it's like it's crazy because well i should have known that when i saw dazzling gleam on my then, to be fair but um yeah once i realized the game was the way then it put the training in a whole new perspective this is all this because i always noticed people who did the boot camps would improve in their offline lives and so i'm like okay why is my rating in the 14? Oh, no, I thought it was 11. Improve their offline lives. So I was like, okay. But then it dawned on me, it's like, 
it doesn't matter if it's mons mons has specific benefits because it's very it's almost one-to-one -one with life uncontrollable factors it's like it maps onto game theory exactly which is super crazy uh but it was like okay well if if that's the case then when somebody takes a boot camp their mons is just the equivalent of like the points the money you make be why do we make money because we want to be a certain we want to have a certain feeling about ourselves or um, we want to be able to take care of our families and so a mental martial art like mons boosts a player's brain and so when they do the boot camp it's like they get a brain boost because of all of the blind spots that are getting removed and so when the blind spots get removed and mons reveals it to them they have the insights on their own of like dang if i have this blind spot here where else do i have this blind spot and then the offline improvements start and it's like right that's just like if i hired somebody to teach me tennis or golf or something like that and i'm seeing the principles of life through the game and it's like this is this is crazy and so that's when i really kind of to come back to the final lesson of inputs over outputs i was like my job is to focus on sharing the information and the output will take care of itself right the output will take care of itself and that aligns with the progress over the points right you need to just focus on the input am i playing the amount of games am i reviewing the replays am i in whatever that may look like and if that's done then i must get the result the points must increase but i gotta defeat I got to defeat the enemy, my ego, so I don't succumb to ignorance. And so, yeah, hopefully that uh, that all made sense as we ladder, because this is just as useful for me as it is for you guys. If it is useful for you, no, there's one guy. Out there. <laughs> but yeah, if uh, hit the comments down below if you uh, resonated uh, or if you have things to share. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.